In this video, we will learn the special cases of finding the remaining zeros of the polynomial when some of the zeros are given. The first question where we are taking special uh, case is that the two zeros are given as root 5 over 3 and negative root 5 over 3. We will follow the same method that is step 1, step 2 and step 3. So step 1, we have to find the divisor using the two zeros which are given. So we will say x is equals to root of 5 over 3 or x equals to negative root of 5 over 3. So let's take the values root 5 over 3 and negative root 5 over 3 to the other side. So it becomes x minus 5 over 3 and x plus root 5 over 3. Now we have to multiply the two factors. So when you multiply the two factors, it becomes x minus root 5 over 3 times x plus root 5 over 3, which is equal to 0. Now clearly it's a minus b times a plus b. So we'll be applying the algebraic identity a square minus b square. So it will become x square minus of root 5 over 3 the whole square, which will turn out to be x square. The square root and the square will cancel out. So you will get only, sorry, 5 over 3. So it's x square minus 5 over 3 equals to 0. Since we have a fraction here, so we have to take an LCM. So when you take the LCM, it becomes 3x squared minus 5 over 3 equals to 0. Thus, our divisor becomes, that is gx will become 3x squared minus 5, which you can rewrite as, because the x term is missing, you can write it as 3x squared plus 0x minus 5. Okay, again, what we are doing? We are taking x is equals to root 5 over 3 and x equals to minus root 5 over 3. We are shifting the two values to the left. So it becomes x minus root 5 over 3 and x plus root 5 over 3. Then you multiply them. So you come up with the identity a minus b and a plus b. When you are applying the identity, it becomes x square minus root 5 over 3, the whole square. So x square, the square root and square will cancel off. So you get 5 over 3 and then you take the LCM and you get your clears. Now step 2. That is the long division. So we'll do the long division. We'll take our gx as 3x squared plus 0x minus 5. So let's do the long division. So this will be 3x squared plus 0x minus 5. And our divisor dividend is 3x raised to 4 plus 6x cubed minus 2x squared minus 10x minus 5. Okay. So let's start the division. So we know that the first term divided by the second. So when you divide 3x raised to 4 to 3x square, you get x square. Multiply with all the three terms and put it here. So you'll get 3x raised to 4. And then you have a 0x cube. x squared with 5. So it will be a minus 5x square. Okay. Now we have to change the sign. So it becomes a minus minus plus. So this goes off. 6x cube. And then you get a plus 3x squared and minus 10x. So now the first term is 6x cubed and 3x squared. So we'll divide it, we'll get 2x. So when we'll multiply 2x with all the three terms, we get this. 2x with 3x squared is going to give us 3x cubed. 2x with 0x will give us a 0x squared. And 2x with minus 5 will give us a minus 10x. So let's subtract them. So it's a minus, minus, and a plus. So this goes off, and this also goes off. So what remains is 3x squared, bring down the minus 5. So now 3x squared minus 5. So it's the same, so plus 1. So that becomes, we don't need the center term because it's 0x, so you can avoid that, and you get a 0 as a remainder. So when we do the long division, finally we are getting the answer the quotient as x square plus 2x plus 1. So the step 3. Sorry. Step 3 is x square plus 2x plus 1 equals to 0. Clearly it's a square plus 2ab plus b square. The identity applies here. So it's x plus 1 the whole square equals to 0. So the two zeros are equal because it will be x plus 1 
times x plus 1 equals to 0. That means x plus 1 is equals to 0 or x plus 1 equals to 0. That means x is equals to minus 1 and here also x is equals to minus 1. Thus, the four zeros that we get come across is minus 1, minus 1, root 5 over 3 and minus root 5 over 3. That's the answer. Now, I have taken one question for your practice, similar type, which you have to do. So, I will help you with the step 1. The remaining two steps, you can take it as your practice. So, again, if you see here, the two zeros given is root 3 by 2 and minus 3, sorry, root 3 by 2 and minus root 3 by 2 and plus root 3 by 2. So, I will help you with the first step. That is, we will say x is equals to root of 3 by 2 and x is equals to minus root 3 by 2. So, let us bring root 3 by 2 on the left and negative 3 by 2 on the left. Left. So, it becomes an x negative 3 by 2 equals to 0 or x plus root 3 by 2 equals to 0. So, let us multiply the two factors together. So, you will get x minus 3 root 2 by 2 and x plus square root 3 by 2 equals to 0. So, this becomes a minus b times a plus b. So, it is a square minus root 3 by 2 the whole square equals to 0. So, now let us open it. So, it becomes an x square minus 3 by 2 because the root and the 2 will cancel off which is equal to 0. Again, we have to find the LCM. So, the LCM will be a 2. So, it becomes 2x square minus 3 equals to 0. So, clearly our divisor here is gx equals to 2x square minus 3 which can be written as 2x square plus 0x minus 3. Again, I am helping out with only the first step. The roots are square root 3 by 2 and negative square root 3 by 2. We are just taking it on the other side. So, it becomes x minus square root 3 by 2 and x plus square root 3 by 2. Multiply the two factors. It becomes a minus b times a plus b. So, we are applying the formula a square minus b square which is x square minus root 3 by 2 whole square. So, it opens up as x square minus 3 by 2. So, now we are finding the LCM. So, LCM becomes 2. So, it becomes 2x square minus 3 divided by 2 equals to 0. So, thus our divisor turns out to be gx which is 2x square minus 3 which you can rewrite as 2x square plus 0x minus 3. Step 2 and step 3, I am leaving it on you to finish it off. Now, let us take the next question which is a little bit more different. Now, here if you see the two zeros are 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3. So, again, let us start with the step 1. The first root is 2 plus root 3 and the second root is 2 minus root 3. So, when you are shifting the roots on the other side or the zeros on the other side, you will get x minus 2 minus square root 3 equals to 0 and here it will be x minus 2 plus root 3 equals to 0. So, let us multiply the two factors together. So, you will get x minus 2 minus root 3 multiplied by x minus 2 plus root 3 equals to 0. Now, if you clearly watch and when you are giving more attention to it, you can see that the root 3 in this bracket is negative and in this bracket is positive. So, what we are going to do is we are going to treat x minus 2 in both the brackets as a single term. We are just going to treat it as one group and we are going to apply a square minus b square and then we will open the bracket. That means we are treating x minus 2 as a and root 3 as b. So, a minus b and a plus b. So, in that case, we are going to apply a minus b plus a plus b that is a square. So, here are a is x minus 2 whole square. And my b is root 3 whole square. Again, why we did that? Because in the in the brackets, x minus 2 and x minus 2, they looked same. Only the root 3 had a different sign, plus sign and a minus sign. So, we are taking x minus 2 as one group and we are treating it as a and root 3 as a second as b. Okay? So, let us open this. So, this becomes, we will open x minus 2 the whole square by applying the identity. So, it will become x square 
2ab means minus 4x and plus 4 and minus 3 equals to 0. So thus our equation turns out to be x square minus 4x plus 1 equals to 0. So this is our gx. Again, x minus 2 is treated as a and root 3 as b. So this is our gx. Let's do the step 2. That is long division. Okay. So the law, uh, sorry, the gx is x square minus 4x plus 1. And the question is 2x raised to 4 minus 9x cube plus 5x square plus 3x minus 1. Let's just check. Is that the same question? A very quick check. Yes, it's the same. Okay, so let's start dividing. 2x square divide, 2x raised to 4 divided by x square will be a 2x square. So let's multiply with all the three terms. So this will be a 2x raised to 4. This uh, with minus 4x will give me a minus 8x cube. 2x square with 1 will give me a 2x square. Let's subtract. Minus plus minus. So this goes off. This will be giving me a minus x cube plus 3x square plus 3x. So minus x cube divided by x square will be a minus x. So minus x and minus x square. So it's a minus x cube minus x and 4. So it's a plus 4x square minus x and 1. So minus x. So let's divide it further. So this will become a plus minus plus. So this goes off. This will give me a minus x square plus 4x minus 1. Minus x square and x square means minus 1. So this will be a minus x square minus 4x minus 1. Sorry, plus 4x. So when we subtract this, we get a 0. This will become a plus, minus, plus. So it cancels off and you become a 0. We get a 0. So our quotient is 2x square minus x minus 1. So step 3 is to split it and get the factors. So step 3. 2x square minus x minus 1. We will open the factors of 2. So it will be 2x square minus 2x. So 2x square minus 2x plus x minus 1. Let's make the factors. So the first two pairs and the second pair. So 2x x minus 1 plus 1 because nothing is common here. So x minus 1. So the two factors we end up is x minus 1 and 2x plus 1. So let's find the answer. So x minus 1 equals to 0 or 2x plus 1 equals to 0. So you will get x equals to 1. Here 2x is equals to minus 1 and x equals to minus half. So the four roots that we come up with is 2 plus root 3, 2 minus root 3, 1 and minus half. I've taken one more question of same type and I'll be helping you only with the first step. The remaining will be your call. Okay. So again, the same roots for the Factor is, let's see, the divisor will come out to be same, but the dividend is different. So you have to work on the step two and step three. But step one is really going to be the same because x is equals to two plus root three or x is equals to two minus root three. Shift it to the left. So you'll get x minus two minus root three equals to zero and x minus two plus root three equals to zero. Let's put the brackets together. So you will get x minus 2 minus root 3 and x minus 2 plus root 3. Again, here x minus 2, x minus 2 are treated as one group or one thing. We take it as 1. So we are taking it as a. So a square. And root uh, 3 is taken as b. So minus root 3 square equals to 0. We will apply a minus b whole square, which is a square minus 2ab plus b square. And then this becomes a negative 3. So again, 